Yeah, Mimi, good morning. So you would think with that with Delta being more widespread, that would lead to more infections and then lead to herd immunity. But experts I spoke to say that's only one part of the equation. The other side being, of course, vaccinations. And perhaps more importantly, because we don't know how long antibodies last after infection. There is also the fact that children under 12 are unable to get vaccinated. So that leaves an entire part of the population that can't get vaccinated and that we don't want to get infected. Ali Mukdad, an epidemiologist at UW, says to get herd immunity and life back to normal, we need at least 85% of the total population being immune or vaccinated. Right now, Washington is at 61.6% and the U.S. 56.5% and vaccine hesitancy is still high. He says he thinks mandates could help us get to some level of herd immunity, but warns people need to get it before we see a new variant. It's possible if you allow this virus to circulate and you have people who are vaccinated or not fully vaccinated, uh, this mutation could be more dangerous because it's getting used to the vaccine or it be developed among people who have been vaccinated. So it's very important for all of us to do our part to contain the spread of the virus in order to prevent another mutation. He also told me even with cooler months coming and people being inside more, his projections do not show a surge this winter if 95% of Americans continue to mask up when they can't social distance. For now, reporting live in Seattle, Angelique Cockaday, King 5 News. Yeah, you only hope we are so close to whatever that level may be. Angelique, thanks. We'll keep eyes on that. Nearly 10 months now after the first dose was given in our state, Washington has hit a milestone in the vaccination effort. As of this week, more than seven. 70% of people eligible for the COVID vaccine are fully vaccinated. That includes everyone over age 12 and nearly 77% of people in Washington have had at least one dose of the vaccine.